Hi guys, hope you are all okay. Today I have an Asda food haul for you. Um, if you watch these on a regular, you might notice last couple of weeks we've been doing week at Sainsbury's, week at Asda, just to mix things up. Uh, you know, I think if you do the same shopping every week, it's quite easy to end up eating the same thing every week. And a uh, proven fact, Asda is cheaper than Sainsbury's. It is a cheaper supermarket. However, not impressed today, Asda. Not impressed. <laughs> I, yeah, so we had our shopping delivered, um, all of this came to £76.92p, um, 10, 10 substitutions, um, one item with a short date and one item that I just didn't accept, um, so four of the substitutions have been sent back and the item I wouldn't accept has been sent back. So five things sent back. Uh, a really grumpy, rude delivery driver. Now my slot's bit between eight and 10, so there's not been a whole lot of his day. He like got here at five to nine. So there's not been a whole lot of his day to get bad. Yeah, he complained about the parking at my property. He complained about the traffic. It's the summer, we live in Cornwall it's a Saturday, you're a delivery driver. I know people like to complain about work, but complain to your wife, complain to your colleague, I'm the person you're being rude to. Um, I know this is sounding really grumpy, I don't wanna sound like a supermarket snob, I've said this in videos before. I worked at Asda for five years. Uh, John worked at Asda, that's where we met each other. So we know, we know how Asda staff are meant to treat their customers above and beyond the call of duty. When you work at Asda, if you, there's really high standards that they expect, or they used to expect their staff to work to. Both me and John worked to those standards, you know, and were awarded customer service badges. And we had our like gold 100% badges. If you worked at Asda, you know what I'm talking about. And the service from the last, oh, I was a mystery shopper. Not only would he have failed, but he would be up for bloody disciplinary review. He was so rude. But yeah, that is not me being a supermarket snob. As I said, I have my Walmart shares, worked there for five years, and I probably hold Asda to a higher standard because I know what they should do. But it's not his fault of the substitutions, but his whole attitude was disgusting. <sighs> rant over <laughs> anyway so yes um the item i sent back that i found that wasn't suitable uh, i ordered two sets of avocados one set that you ripen at home and one one avocado that is meant to be ripe and ready so we can eat it today the ripe and ready avocado that you pay more for because it's ready to eat now was harder than the ones that are ripe at home so that's been sent back out of my substitutions the ones that i sent back um i ordered a 12 pack of chipolata sausages they substituted it for a six pack of sausages uh, and i was like surely if you substitute 12 sausages you get 12 sausages and, and he kind of went well they're the same um they're the same cost point i'm like well doesn't matter if they cost the same as 12 i wanted 12. So they've gone back again and it's not his fault he doesn't pick the shopping it was just his attitude while we're dealing with it. I've ranted so long, my arm's aching. Um, I ordered a pack of cress. They substituted it for watercress. So that went back. Um, I ordered some limes. They substituted for lemons. They went back. What was the other thing? Limes, sausages, watercress. I can't remember and they don't give you a printout anymore we've got to go on the emails there was a fourth thing i can't remember i'll come back to you when i remember what the other thing was that i sent back but yeah i'm going to stop ranting and show you my shopping remembered the fourth thing so i ordered sun-dried tomatoes they substituted it for a pot of sun-dried tomatoes and feta cheese in olive oil 
it's part of their tapas range. So it did have sun-dried tomatoes, but it wasn't what I wanted. So that went back as well. Right, let's show you the shopping. And there is the overview of the things I kept. Right, um, let's do the substitutions first. So I ordered some barbecue pop chips. They've substituted them for barbecue pop chips. I ordered a brand um, that's the same brand that they sell in Starbucks, the crisps. Um, these are Asda's own brand, they'll be fine. I ordered some low-fat coleslaw. They substituted it for full-fat coleslaw. It'll be fine. I ordered flat peaches, like the flat donut peaches things they substituted them for normal peaches fine again i ordered a jar of olives these look exactly the same i think they might be the bigger ones because they're called queen olives but yeah that's fine i ordered decaf coffee i ordered the dow legbert's brand because i know we like that one not tried this one before um but kenko tried Kenko normal coffee before and that's fine so I'm hoping that the decaf will be good as well and the other substitution that we kept um, I ordered two packs of the half fat butcher beef burgers uh, and they substituted it for full fat ones um, they're fine they're do not ideal but they're still quite yeah 189 calories so they're all right. They're okay. They're not too crazy bad on calories, so that's fine. Right, uh, normal shopping. Uh, we've got some toilet roll. We've got some of these um, plain flatbreads, just because I didn't want to buy burger buns and sausage, like hot dog buns. Obviously, I have no sausages now anyway, but um, I kind of bought these thinking you could use them for both, both sausages and burgers. And we don't eat a whole lot of bread really but yeah i thought that would be nice uh, i got four pints of skimmed milk say i don't eat a whole lot of bread and then the next item is bread um these were my item that, that had a short date they're fine we're gonna have them on sunday anyway it's just the bagel thins we're gonna have that with um smoked salmon and cream cheese these were my avocados that you gotta ripen at home I'm going to see if I can find a hack video online after I've put the shopping away to see if I can bring one on so it's, <laughs> we can eat it today, I don't know. Um, got some of the light mozzarella. These are a special little treat. I love macaroon. Pistachio macaroons are my ultimate favourite. So we got those for some point this weekend. We've got some of these low-fat yoghurts. They're the Asda like smart price ones. I really like them. I think they're good. You get three cherry, three strawberry. And I'm like, I'm sure they're like a pound. They might even be like 89p. They might be less than that. And calorie wise, where's the doofer? 89 calories. And I think they're really nice. So I quite like those. Um, some radishes. We got a small bag of carrots. Um, I'm going to attempt a juice like a breakfast juice this week and it needed one carrot and we'll probably just use the rest for hummus um some questionable looking ginger you think you have to chin trim ginger and because it's in three separate bits you kind of lose a lot of it but yeah it's not the best looking ginger uh, two cucumbers, one is for this juice that I'm going to attempt to make, one is for salads. Oh, I've got Darwin tapping at the patio to come in. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, so I got some apples. I thought I ordered pink ladies, but again, these are to go in juice, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the dreaded celery. I don't like celery. <laughs> um... I don't know, you might, have you seen some of the Poland vlogs? Uh, when we were in Poland in February, John went through this stage where he was making us a lot of soups, which was very nice. Um, and he was using celery in the stock, which is fine because you don't really taste it, but it's not something I enjoy. I know some people would like dip celery in hummus and love it. It's just a flavour from my childhood that I don't like. However, this 
cleansing juice thing that we're going to try this week has celery in it. Mm. It does say on the recipe that you can't taste the celery, so it's meant to be super good for you, isn't it? Um, got some prawns. Going to do a, a prawn salad with those, I think. And then some smoked salmon. I've got two chickens. I thought the packaging was slightly strange, but, you know, not going to complain. Hopefully, because it's clear. This is over 50% of this packaging. I'm sure you can recycle this. I'm sure you can. Be fine. Um, but, yeah, I've got two bags of chopped chicken. Um, some sea salt crisps. Some not particularly nice looking bacon, but it's for cooking. Um, so I'm going to trim it all up and I'm just going to have it in. Um, I'm going to make a bit of a potato salad to have with our barbecue. But yeah, it is fatty. But yeah, it's it's cheap bacon. You get what you get, don't you? Um, I've got some oh crisps on the floor. Philadelphia lightest. Uh, I've got two bottles of Diet Coke caffeine free because um, they don't have the Pepsi caffeine free online. I'm sure they sell it in store, but they didn't have it on the website. So we've got Diet Coke. Beetroot and baby spinach and baby kale salad. Um, so that's for salads and this bag of spinach is for cooking. It's a bit smushed, but it's fine because we're going to cook it anyway. Um, and then we've got some cocktail sausages, some wraps. These wraps are huge. These were really cheap. I think they were like 89p. Um, these look nice. Minted lamb koftas. Bananas that are all separated, so they're not going to hang on my banana tray. Oh, I'm grumpy now. My grumpy delivery driver's made me grumpy. It's fine. It's fine. Um, we've got some extra special chorizo. This stuff is so bad for you, but so yummy. I really like it. This week, we're going to actually be doing uh, chorizo twice. The plan is to do a Joe Wicks chicken and chorizo dish. And then... Um, last two weeks so this will be week three that i've done a chorizo and gnocchi recipe off of katie ilson elson's channel really like it hummus one of these frittata things another time when katie doesn't look at the weight or something and then disappointed when it's small you can make these quite easily but yeah i just thought it'd be a nice little thing we've got some mouthwash new potatoes in a can i have got the jack monroe tin can cookbook and i've been reading it and taking some inspiration so i'm going to give these a go these are smart price so the cheapest ones on the website um we got one of these because john and i went to a wedding last weekend we drank a lot so we're having a dry weekend <laughs> this weekend so i've got some j2o spritz i think it's like raspberry yeah pear and raspberry flavor and then we've got a strawberry and vanilla flavoured water. Got some gnocchi. Some, oh, again, with the smart price. Cheese singles. Some little corn on the cobs. John bought a new barbecue this week. Um, literally yesterday. So I think we're going to try, rather than boiling our cobs, is try and cook them on the barbecue, see how that goes. Then baked beans and sausages a little disappointed with this uh, again it's my fault i didn't look at the size we normally buy the giant jar of these um these are gherkins or pickles whatever you like to call them excellent on burgers john really likes this brand with a scary lady's face but yeah i picked up the wrong size i should have got the big jar because uh john is uh part polish and he can eat these for fun like literally eat them straight out of the jar um we've got some lighter than light mayonnaise john is out for a couple of nights this week so it's meals for one for me so i've got this ready meal chicken hot pot and i got some of these oh we've got chicken char grills i thought these look quite good um we got some Perfectly bake wild pink salmon fillets in a sweet chilli sauce for one night this week. I thought they looked good. Got two cheese omelettes. 
and just a bag of the steam fresh oh steam fresh sunshine mix it's just like peas sweet corn carrots yum and that is this week's groceries i fear that i have spent more time ranting than actually showing you food um everyone spends the money their own way i get i don't want to say backlash but food hauls i put them up every week they are probably my most watched video um but i also get the most hate off of them people are forever telling me that i spend too much money on groceries that i shouldn't shop at sainsbury's uh because they're expensive um, go to Asda, go to Lidl. Uh, we really like Lidl and Audi, but they don't deliver. I don't drive. We live in the countryside. Home delivery works best for us. So, you know, Asda is technically the cheapest supermarket that will deliver, even though their delivery today was £6.50. Um, so, yeah, I just... <laughs> I want to put the video up because I put a food haul up every week. I don't want to pretend I'm happy when I'm not um, because I want to be honest. Um, but I do, I say, these are my most watched videos, but they're also the ones I get the most backlash from. People have a lot of opinions. People are very upset that I have shop bought coleslaw. People get upset that I go, I don't like pork and then I buy sausages don't like pork it's my least favorite meat John likes pork so we buy it I'm not allergic to it it's just my least favorite thing but I can still eat it I don't hate it it's just if there was another item on the menu I'd buy that but yeah I just I'm just trying to be honest and his bad service has made me grumpy so I'm probably not doing my best self on camera right now but this is this week's groceries um some of it i'm sure is fabulous a lot of it is fabulous you know pretty much all the problems i have with my groceries could have been resolved if i was able to go and do the shopping myself which i'm not today but yeah that is this week's groceries sorry for being grumpy uh i hope you've enjoyed the video i'll try and be happy in next week's uh yeah comment subscribe share talk to you in the next one guys Bye.